am Nick Boy and welcome to Pocket and today I'm checking out Cradle from developer Flying Cafe for Semi Animals. Uh, this is a first person sort of adventure exploration uh, I assume kind of puzzly game. Uh, I'm also though continuing the trend of FMV games this week, where the FMV here is just in the eyes. It's just in the eyes of the uh, of the characters. So we'll see how that turns out. Uh, I'm excited to jump in. Join me. But as always, if you don't want to join me for the whole trip, there is a too long didn't read here, where we jump to the end of the video and I give you my thoughts. Do you want to click on that? Because you can't be bothered watching the rest of it. That makes me sad. But anyway, let's do it! Resume game? I've never even played the game. New game, please. Uh, would you like to take the tutorial? Sure. Let me take the tutorial. Tutorial. Tute Oriel. Well, this is great. How big is this tutorial? So I know nothing about the game. Uh, I believe it's set in like Argentina. It's set somewhere. I was going to say somewhere weird, and I don't mean that. I just mean a place where you don't traditionally see video games. Um, South America somewhere? I can't remember. I don't know. Either way, there's robots. Are there robots in South America? Are the Argentinians all up on cybernetics? Because if they are, we should watch out. Forty-five minutes to load some leaves. I'm such a sassy bitch. Uh, I read text. Shift to run. Space jump. Press and hold control to crouch. Interaction with objects. Certain objects contain text. Yes, to read the text from the information. Wait, what? To read text from the information stand. Walk up to it. Left click on the stand when the cursor changes shape. How strange, but I can read it almost better just standing here. Um, okay, so I read text. Parentheses, pick up or put down objects. Sight, use one object on another. Dialogue cloud, speak with the character. Okay, so these are the pop-ups that come up. I can read things, I can pick things up, I can use objects on one another, or I can speak with people. Left click on the gate to open it. Let's do it. Oh, a cube. Do they have cubes in Argentina? Where I'm, I'm really doubling down on where this game is set. Uh, certain objects can be picked up left, click on the red cube to pick it up. It's like a portal. Use the inventory to carry items. Press E while holding the cube. I now own a cube. Hey, more cubes. <gasps> All right, I love it already. I love collecting things in games. I walk very slowly. Oh, right click to force throw a held item. Force throw? While holding an item, mouse over item B and left click on it, add the missing part to your entrance to the cube. So I do that. Right, so that's just thrown it. But if I take that, I can click on that. Add the missing part to the arrangement of the cubes. Nope, doesn't work. Nope, doesn't work. Are you... I just need a cube here. I assume I probably need a red one, right? Let's grab you. Um, I'm night blind. Oh, I was just looking up. I'm not night blind. I was just looking into the sky. Let's pretend that never happened. It's lighting up, so it seems to be happy. Wait, where did I go? You may occasionally need help throughout the game. Press tab to receive a clue. Press tab to hide it again. This is a very dark place. Our story begins here. While sleeping, you see a strange and troubled dream. Follow the instructions to wake up. Go toward the light. Ooh. Ooh. Beautiful flowers. Oh, thank God it's a computer. Oh. 
I cannot cope that long in nature without a screen. Oh, our story begins here while sleeping. Oh no, I can walk up to the table and click on it. Okay, so what have we learned so far? There are boxes. I can carry them. I'm currently carrying quite a few of them because uh, I never actually put those down. Uh, you put those boxes together to unlock clues. Clues take you to computers in the middle of uh, the jungle. Oh, was that the thing I was wearing? Is that why I saw a screen? I'm on the floor. Am I a baby? Baby confirmed! Baby confirmed! Oh, this baby, this baby's growing quick. This baby has become a person. Not that babies aren't people, they're just tiny people. Okay. Mm. Get some Argentinian tea in me. I can read that. Uh, Tabaha, Tabaha, Tabaha. I got fat and now I smell bad. What? <laughs> Turn off your nose and don't look at me. I didn't say goodbye to On Gods. I waited for him all day, but he didn't return. Please feed him and change him, lest he get sick. Stop. Let me continue reading. Follow this recipe. Heat the red pot, add a glass of water, add a few cut palmolive fruits. There are plenty of them by the lake. Add dried root, grind it, salt and water. Return the jar to its place. Right of the pepper as Grandpa Batjin instructed. Uh, Grandpa Batjin. Classic Argentinian grandfather name. Cook until it's done. On Gods will show up as soon as he smells the food. You can sell all the stuff if you like and toss the body in the river. I won't be coming back. There is so much happening in this letter. You turned off your nose. You could toss the body. I won't be coming back. Bat gin. Palmolive fruits, which feels like copyright infringement almost for shampoo. Uh, what? Let's press the button. Oh, there's a lot of notes. A switch on the device, that's all I need to know. Power on. Maybe I press this bit. Nope, nope can just break. Wait, what? Is this the body? Is this the body I throw in the river? I tore her boobs off! This never happened. I'm just gonna gently put that back. That was the creepiest thing that's happened this year. What's this thing? Hmm. Doesn't do anything. Calvin? Hey! Hello. I'm a little concerned that we kind of like engraved nipples on you for no reason. But who knows what's happening in Argentina. Um, okay. What's in here? Not quite sure. Message lid open. Correct. I'm looking. Hey, an axe. Now we're talking. Throw that torch over there. Outside. I feel like outside doesn't hold anything for me. Inside? How do I, I... I... Like... I guess I throw the body in the river. I don't really want to do that. Read entries. I don't know the password. Okay. 
Well, I like all the world building so far. I, I would like to know what the hell is going on. Uh, should I read this? Wait until the gene copying is complete. Remember, only people with HQ of 30 or higher are permitted to transfer. Right, so this is transferring data into a person, I assume. Like, into a into one of those body things. Um, tip. There's no one around to help you remember what happened. Prepare breakfast for Ongots to meet him. Put the red pot on the furnace. Right, I do have to please old bad gin. Uh, put the red pot the red pot. Sorry about your hip flask, Grandpa. On there. Turn that furnace on. Shove this paper. It's great. This is, this is like a life simulator for Argentina. Uh, shut the lid. Ignite. Um. Oh wait. Wait. Was that a Zippo? It was a Zippo. Oh wait, wait you got to light the paper now. You're an idiot. You've been cuddled for too long by electric heating. You need to, you need to light the piece of paper. Uh, crouch, that will help. Not enough firewood. Alrighty then. Um, yeah, can I just toss it? Am I just a bad throw? Or is it just, just saying you've already got enough paper? I probably need some wood, that's what I need. Okay, I need to find wood. Wood. Where would I find wood? I'm scared of the outdoors. Uh, it's gotta be around the back. Wood is always around the back. Wood! Wood! Oh wait, is there wood in here? Here we go! Here we go! Got wood! Sorry! Let's take another piece. I've got like a few pieces of wood. Yeah, let's really build a little TP in there. Argentinian? Argentinian TP? I feel like that's enough. Where did I throw that Zippo? I'm a terrible house guest. Uh, wait, 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 shit. Where did I put the Zippo? I... Is it in my inventory? How do I open my inventory? You would think it's I, but it's not. How do I open inventory? Settings. Uh, menu, run, inventory, E. I pressed E, nothing happened. I've got, oh, I'm not holding it. Okay, calm down, Nick. Okay, here's the problem. You dropped the lighter somewhere, and now you don't know where it is. Could I seriously not finish this game because I didn't keep track of where I put a Zippo? There it is! There it is! Uh, I just had to get down to baby height. Okay, found the Zippo. Yes! I'm gonna keep you. Alright. Now what? I can't believe I'm cooking. There is a robot woman over there whose chest I just ripped off. I'm in some weird futuristic land and the first thing I'm doing in the game is pretty much making tea. Heat the red pot, add a glass of water, add a few palmolive plants, there are plenty of them by the lake. Okay, water. Well, I'm guessing this is the glass. Is this a water tank? Oh no, I threw the cup. I meant to keep it. In fact, I'll keep that as well. And wait, can I keep that axe? I feel like that axe is definitely... That axe looks too rendered to be something just in the... No, it is. It's just something in the background. Um, water. Water, water, water. I have no need for this. Yes, I know. Put the red pot on the furnace. I've done that already. That is a red pot, right? Yeah. Definitely. Um... Water! Um, add a cup of water. What did I, did I throw the cup? Did I keep the cup? Where's this cup? Here it is. This is great! This item doesn't work. What are you talking- Oh, do I need to turn it first? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, a little weird, but alright. Uh, I filled that up. I go here. Drop it on the ground. 
Well, the water didn't spill. How lucky are we? Um, add to the red pot. How, but how? Okay, so, uh, obviously something just jumped and flashed for you for a second. That's because I've spent the last 15 minutes trying to figure out what was going on. Uh, it's a wok. It wants a wok, not a pot, even though it said pot. It's very strange that you're sitting there. That's a teapot, and it's kind of orange, which I would mistake for red. So it's like, put that on the furnace. No, no, no. It wants you to take the wok, which was in the cupboard, and put that on there. That's not a pot. That's a wok. Argentinians, take note. Okay, done. Inventory. Cup of water. Put that in there. Okay. What was the next thing? There's something about fruit down by the river, which sounds like an old sort of song from the from the 1800s. A less desirable time. Chain gang song. Oh, mullet fruits down by the river. It's actually by a lake, but whatever. Um, let's run down here and find some pal mullet fruits. Wow, what is this place? Oh, lovely. Hey! Wind energy. Argentina got it right. Um, okay. What does a palm olive fruit look like? I'm guessing it's going to be on something. Is this a lake? Those red fruit on the tree look edible. I'll try to find something to use to knock them down. How about a rock? No, no, can't pick up a rock. Maybe a smaller rock. A very small rock. No. Um. Oh, do I have anything in here? Uh, what am I looking for? No, E. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, how about I throw a teacup at them? <laughs> nope. Uh, a stick. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, do I hit the tree? Or do I throw it up there? Did that do anything? I can't tell. Stop rolling. Uh, eh. Yes! Babe Ruth over here. Uh, one palmolive fruit. Where'd that stick go? This is such a simulator. really is letting you experience all the pain of living on a farm, which is something I used to do. I don't recommend it. Okay. I just needed two, right? I think I did. I'm surprised I'm not more creeped out by the uh, lady just sitting there. Oh shit, I've lost my house. What's up? Here it is. That, uh, that is my stove, which I left unattended in my small, highly flammable house. Uh, two cut palmolive trees. I need a knife. Uh, that is a spork. Or just a fork. Um, where would I keep, in the dystopian future, where would I keep a knife? In the spoon drawer? No, thank you. In the knife drawer. Oh, yes. Listen, lady. Okay. Um. E. Palm olive. Sit on the floor is exactly where I meant to put you. <laughs> Terrific. Uh, you go down there. E. A knife. I'm just gonna chop on the floor, even though I have a perfectly good table. There we go. One, two, three. They look delicious. Four. It's like a kiwi fruit and a, and a, and a passion fruit. Uh, I'm gonna put all of you there. One, two. Seriously, I've been playing for 20 minutes and I'm making a recipe. Four. What's the next thing that old Bat Jin demands? Uh, there are plenty of them, by the way. Add dried root, but don't forget to grind it. Right. 
Okay. Dried root. Is it around here somewhere? Add dried root. Use a mortar to grind it. Oh no, was that stick a root? Okay. First things first, let's find the mortar and pestle. Because, you know, uh, we'll save some time. And knowing this game, the mortar and pestle will actually be an iPad and a pillow. Let's pick up the pillow. Um, okay, mortar and pestle. I mean, I'd keep you in the kitchen. If it was me. They are just cups. That is a toothbrush. Uh, shut that. What's in here? The fridge. The door is jammed. Never mind. Uh, there's not a mortar and pestle in there. Is there one in here? Hmm. A dry root, there are some roots hanging outside. Terrific. Mongolian tea recipe. Um, I'm actually just having difficulty finding a mortar and pestle. No, I'd say that's a vase. Is that a vase or a pot? Or a wok? Oh no, no, that's definitely a mortar and pestle. They look different here. Uh, I'm used to Australian mortar and pestles. Uh, there are dry roots hanging outside. Yes, there were. Like, how far outside? Like... Like here? Is that what we would call a dry root? No. Should it say hanging? Here? No. Hanging outside. Dried roots hanging outside. Oh! 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 Here we go. Roots that I have dried. The character. Uh, I'm just gonna take them all, because you can never have too much dried root in, uh, a thing for bat gin. Um, let's put it here. I shouldn't be carrying this mortar and pestle. Again, let's, uh, let's prepare all this stuff in the traditional workspace of the dystopian Argentinian future, which is on the floor. Uh, we take this root and put it in there. And I have other roots. All of the roots. Oh no, you only need one. Okay, take you, grind you up. Yep. Nope, can't use it. There we go. Tip that into the wok. We are literally cooking with gas. Although we're not, actually, we're cooking with gas. Um, new task added. Oh, that smells disgusting. Uh, salt and pepper from memory? Add salt and the water will turn orange. Return the salt jar to its place right at the pepper as Grandpa Batjin instructed. Right, so is that is that saying like it's important to do that for a reason or is it just trying to give me, you know, uh, clues as to where the salt is though it doesn't give me a clue as to where the pepper is so therefore useless. Um, that looks like plum olive juice. Oh my god, is that what they mean? Is that what they mean? Did they not put a space in there? <laughs> it's plum olive. It's not palm olive or plume olive. It's plum olive fruits. That needs a hyphen or at the very least a space. Um, okay, that makes so much more sense. Palm olive natural uh, shampoo? Put the lawsuit away. Um, Salt. Salt. What's this? Sterile. Nope. Don't want that. What's this stuff? What's this? Nope. Salt. Oh, I'm definitely gonna play with you later. Um. Over here? What's this? That doesn't look like salt. I don't think I should add that to the food. Oh, hang on. It'll be one of these. Oh, no. I don't know which is which. Does this go in there? Oh, put it back in its place to the right of the pepper. Okay, worried, because I just added something. It would be easier if this was all in English. I'm just gonna start putting things in there. Instead it will turn orange. So that goes there. <laughs> There we go. Wait, is that orange or red? I don't trust this game when it comes to scent. Add salt. The salt jar is to the right of the pepper. I, I understand that, but I don't know where the pepper is. Maybe maybe that is considered red, orange. Is that what you think is orange game? Yes. We did it. Screw you, salt. 
Uh, I'm gonna feed it to the robot, because that definitely seems like nothing could go wrong. Pouring a lot of liquid across a lot of, uh, of electronics. Nope, she can't use it. Bring Ongots his breakfast. Well, that's not a him at all. You're a she. Where are you, Ongots? Is Ongots like my pet? Here, Ongots. Oh, wow. Well. You're huge. Hey, you are majestic. John thinks I'm talking about him. Uh, all right. I've got something for you. You are adorable. You are adorable. Eat up. Eat up. Do you want me to just sit on the ground? Do we not have that kind of relationship? Please, it's all yours. I assume on gods. Oh, there's a thing there. There's a thing there for a bowl. Uh, they would say a pot. It is, of course, Falcon Walk. Yes. Get your strength back, you freaky bird acting a bit like a dog. Terrific! Game saved. And that's... What's the name of this game? <laughs> Cradle. Uh, he needs his vest changed. This whole game is just the day-to-day -day minutia of some sort of robot-building falconer. Um, come here, I'm gonna strip you. The clasps first. The clasps. Ah, oh, is there a, an underside clasp? No, whoa! Honestly thought I ripped a heart out of a bird for there for a second. Um, what's going on? Like, what is happening? Put that in the inventory and just can I just dig around in here for a while? What do you need in there? He needs his vest changed. Okay, so I guess in, there's a new vest. Would it be on the line? Could I fashion socks into a vest? Why does everything have a hole in the chest area? What have we become in Argentina? Um I need a new vest. I need a falcon's vest! No, don't fly away. Uh, if I owned a falcon, which apparently I do. Where, there's that salt. Hang on a second, I'm supposed to just get that out of here. Uh, where would I keep his clothes? I mean, I would keep them inside because I'm a nice person. Let's check out here. Chest has been shut for many years. There's a book. There's some pencils. There's a pipe. Voucher for one-time donor utilization service comes up. Uh, look, I'm beginning to have a hunch based on the words on the salt containers and this picture right here that it is not set in Argentina. I think. Uh, and this mask. What is this? I don't want to offend anybody. I feel like Mongolian? Could be Mongolian. Um, you know, heavy falconing people. Oh, there it is. Just clap that one on you. Good work, buddy. Oh, you stay happy. a wall. The vest has some numbers on it. I hope you're not talking about the one that's flying away! I assume you're talking about the one that I currently have in the inventory. 
2053. Right, okay, so is there a is there a lock in here that has 2053? Is that a number I can input into something? 2053. 2. Okay, close lid. No. No message in the phytocopier. 2053. There's a four digit number on the inside of the vest. It's key to valuable information. Find an application for the number. I am trying. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, the, pa the password! The password! Yes, read the entries. I want to know all your secrets. 2053. Oh, God, I wish all passwords were like that. It just gives you three options for the first half and three options for the second half. Access granted. Okay. I've got a journal now. Thanks, Tabaha. My name is any bish. I've always lived here because I can't go anywhere else. Grandpa Batjin says lots of people used to live around here, but they all died when the dome blew up. The area has been deserted ever since. Aside from myself, Batjin and Ongots. Ongots has a very has got very powerful claws. He obeyed my father and helped him hunt hares. I don't remember my parents. They died in the explosion as well. When the wind picks up, it gets pretty chilly. You can find refuge from it, but not for long. You can't last long without light. Terrifying. That's why I crafted these transparent layered vests. That's why it has the hole there, like in that program about greenhouses. It keeps Ongots warm during the day, and when the night's chill arrives, I put him in another warm vest. I collect and digitize flowers because I'm a psychopath. I'd look for the prettiest ones and make phytocopies of them. Uh, tabaha, Tabaha then takes them into town and sells them. The earnings keep him afloat while Grandpa and I buy cheese. The earnings keep him afloat. We're living the high, make it rain cheese life. We've got a new genometer. It measures everything flowers, insects, people. It clocks bat gin at 47 and the tree by the gate at 24. Units of what? Even the stool got measured, even though that took a little longer. But when aimed at ongots or myself, it still shows the same old error. Grandpa says it's all providence. Maybe he's right. I have this dream sometimes. Wow, this guy writes a lot. I have this dream sometimes. I'm in a strange city. The day is waning. Folks are walking in the distance. There's someone beside me, but I don't see who. The dream is fleeting, always leaving me with a strange sensation, like when I'm supposed to pass somebody something to somebody, but I can never remember what or to whom. I feel like some mix of anxiety and chagrin, and it makes me want to go there to that town. So who's talking? Good lord. Is it the robot lady? Maybe it is, because she said I have no more use for the body, you can toss it in the river. The I being I'm the person who lives in that body. Um, Grandpa Batjin has died. Bummer. He wanted to do a transfer after losing his sight and mobility. Tabaha even brought him the equipment, but Grandpa died in his sleep. He was buried at the spot where he requested. Tomorrow marks the four year. I really sorry, like, I'm so, I'm so sorry that Batjin died, but uh, tomorrow marks the four-year anniversary of Grandpa's funeral, which means four years! We're fine! Which means I'm 23 already, everything is still the same. I tried leaving again, but no dice! I simply lose consciousness like before. I want to find that town from my dream. Perhaps I'll risk it and do a transfer. Grandpa's got no use for his helmet these days, but I might. If I get lucky, I'll wake up in a new body in Unlan Bator. Too bad the genometer won't show my number. I know how dangerous it is. Oh, this is the last one, I promise. When I look up at the poster over my bed, for some reason I remember my toys. When I was a kid, maybe five or so, I had a favorite toy, an odd little space case. Ongots had found it somewhere and brought it to me. Then I saw Dark Cells, Dark Swirls, got scared, stashed the toys away for some reason to make sure I didn't forget the hiding place. I came up with a clue. Remember this. Come out of the yurt and fly straight as the crow. On a rock with a snag, look for an arrow. A sorrowful tree will show you the way. A box in the sand will a mystery betray but now I can't find it. Come out of the yurt, which I'm, I'm guessing is our house. Fly straight as a crow, go straight ahead. On a rock with a snag, look for an arrow. A sorrowful tree will show you the way. A box in the sand will a mystery betray, but now I can't find it. Uh, have you tried following your riddle? Which is what I'm gonna do. Uh, your child stash is in somewhere nearby. Yep, find your toy, let's do it. Oh, so it is me. 
It's me, I'm back. Okay, I'm back. This is me. I don't know whose body I'm in. Um, on a rock with a snag. Like, is this a rock with a snag? Look for an arrow? What's a snag? Oh, there it is. Arrow. This direction. A tree will show you the way. Bet it, like, X marks the spot or something. Oh, there's another one. Arrow. Oh, God, I love these kinds of games so much. Uh, what was the last bit of the clue? Uh, a sorrowful tree will show you the way. A box in the sand will the mystery betray. You. That's right. A box in the sand. A sorrowful tree. Right. So that's the sorrowful tree because it had been chopped down or whatever. Um, do we do we call this sand? Ah, oh, crap. Do I need to get a shovel or something? Oh, wait. What's this? Boom shakalaka. Traditional Mongolian saying. Or Argentine. A little case, the same as the one on the poster. That I definitely saw. Nope. Equipped. Uh, it was a processing device, the main part of a mechanical body. There are two more parts in the yurt. Use them to repair the young android woman. She may provide valuable information. Yes. Yes. So who is that android woman? Was it my old body? This is exciting though. We're gonna wake up a robot. And God knows science fiction has taught us nothing ever goes wrong when you do that. Hey, there are more people living here. I got the impression that it was like deserted. Cool. This is great so far. I don't know if you're enjoying yourself, but I certainly am. Um... There are two more parts in the yurt. What are things that- I mean, that red switch definitely looks like something that came off a robot. Seems weird that it's just sitting there. Do I combine it? Can't use. Cannot use. Uh, I, well maybe- let's try putting this in first. E... Bit of this. No, yeah, it doesn't work. What if I took- Sorry, but took your chest off. Sorry, I'm just gonna sit your boobs down there. Uh, e. Whoops. Can't use. Can't use. Okay, currently not. Hey! Hey. Sorry. Hi. Those eyes are so cool. That is such a cool effect. Um, okay, so I need two more bits that look like they would be shoved in a robot. What was that? Uh, happy day of the people. Something. Two more yurt bits, that's what I need. Um, toilet paper, no. So, was she my favorite toy? Is that what it's saying? Yeah. What's in here? It's closed. Well, there is an easy solution for that, but you're not gonna let me open it. Um, none of those look like something I would put in a robot. I mean, this thing definitely. Hey! I don't know what that is, but all right! That worked! There's only one more bit. Is it over here? Is it this thing? Yes, they're both just sitting there. This is the easiest part ever. So now, can I put that in? Nope, can't use it. Maybe I can use it on this. Unless I'm just sitting in the wrong part. Like, does it go... Are there any other openings? Whoa! I will never stop getting freaked out every time I open up something that looks alive and I realize it's just hollow. That's your brain. I'm so sorry. I buried it in the sand. Uh, there is no room. I need to free a slot. Uh, let's take that. Take you out. Get out of here, old brain. Okay. Uh, now, for the sake of proprietary and, um, 
and, you know, just decency. Let me just put your breasts and scalp back on. And... Boom! There we go, more light here. Oh no, 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 no. No, stop making lower noises. Hi. Hey. Can you hear me? Where am I? Mongolia! Oh! God, I'm good. God, I'm so good. The suit really adds about 170 IQ points. Um, somewhere in Mongolia, in some yurt. Why am I American? Somewhere in Mongolia, in some yurt. What happened to me? I don't know. I don't remember anything either. Was it you who switched me on? Yes. Yes. Are you a Mulga? I don't know. But I doubt it. Where did you get my neurochip? I found it in a cache underground. Found what? Oh, where'd you get my neurochip? I found it in a cache I found it in a cache underground. What cache? A long, a long time ago, I hid a cache of toys in the ground. You were playing with my neurochip and then buried it in the ground? Oh, don't answer that question. This feels like a trap. Looks that way, but I don't remember any of it. My name is Enabish, I think. And you are? What do you want? I want to know what's going on here. You're not a mulger. I don't know what a mulger is. Can you explain? Someone who kidnaps people and sells their substance. Nope. What substance? I don't understand. My name is Ida, and I understand even less than you do. I do not recognize this body. There's something wrong with it. I can't see anything, and I don't feel my legs. What's wrong with my legs? Um. I have a horrible suspicion they're kind of like... They're, um, fused together. There you go, fused together. Kind of like a vase. What? You've got a flower vase where your legs should be. That's ridiculous. I'm scared. Calm down, Ida. Tell me, are you a robot? I'm a human being in an artificial body. You mean you've had your body replaced? Half of humanity had their bodies replaced. Where what? did you get my neurochip? Ida, I've just now found it in an old cache. The cache you made when you were a child? Yes, if my journal is to be trusted. How could my neurochip have ended up in the hands of a child? Ongots brought it. My father's trained golden eagle. It's a, com it's a common situation to be in. I don't know where he had found it. How long ago was that? Long. Eighteen years ago. Listen, Enabish. I feel ill at ease here and mm -hmm, scared. Because you're half, I want to remember who half I am lady, half buzz. Please help me. Uh, I want to help. I want the same thing. How can I help? You need to call the evacuators. They'll come and take me away. I've been trying to send a request, but it's useless. My marker isn't answering. Oh, okay. Options. What, what marker? The authenticity marker. It's like my passport. It's got all my personal data. All requests must be accompanied by data from the marker, but it appears to be broken. So what do we do? I don't know. We might be able to use my neurocopy number, but I don't remember it. I remember almost nothing about myself. Just like me. Yeah, turn, well, at turn least it you're on in back your home. yourself. It's all about, you know about your childhood. Ebbish. Your family. Your name is. I'm not sure if I'm home. I don't know this place. Strange. Listen. Why don't you start asking me questions? Oh, really? Anything you wish to know. Are you all right? I feel something is wrong with this body. Tell me about artificial bodies. About bodies? All right. They are called M bodies. Hold on. Why replace Let's people's bodies? Through some of this. Because of the epidemic. The epidemic. There was a virus, was a virus that spread across the globe. Kind of like a 
personal refuge? Right. A temporary refuge. Uh, the virus could be gone by now. It's been years. Once the virus is cured, we'll be... The virus could be gone by now. It's been years. I don't know. It was just so... No treatment worked. How was it accumulated? It was extracted from people themselves. Nervous yeah. system? I don't get it. Well, Passium can only be extracted from emotions. Oh, wow, this is getting really Whenever tense. you experience an emotion, any emotion, your M body manufactures a little bit of the substance. A substance produced by emotions? Yes. Emotions were the only thing capable of making a remedy against the virus. Everybody became a source of value? Yes, although there were people whose substance was considered more valuable than that of others. Who were those people? People that were special somehow. They had something. They were greatly respected. Can I help, Can I help you, you somehow? I need a breathing module. A breathing module? Could you find it for me? Where do I look? We're in the middle of the step. The step and nothing else? Describe for me what's around here. Oh my god. The river. Some abandoned Use complex. those actual human eyes. What kind of complex? A big dome with multicolored sails. Hold on. Yes, I see it. I've got access to it. The Gerbera Garden. It looks the part. M body parts were stored there in the pavilions. Okay, cool. You should definitely have a breathing module. All right. Try. I'll try. Find the seventh pavilion. I'll try to find the password to the file database. It may contain my data. If I remember anything, I'll contact you. Gideon. All right. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, I'm gonna leave it there. With her just sort of kneeling there, like some sort of breathing vase. And, uh, this is Cradle. I'm definitely impressed with what I've seen so far, uh, for the most part. I'll start off with a negative, which I feel like there's a, um, there's quite a bit of information, particularly when you're speaking to her, that's told in just sort of like a sit there and have that slow back and forth where nothing's happening. There's not sort of like, it's not particularly interactive. It could be delivered in a better way. I was about to say a walk and talk, but then I remembered that she has a vase for legs, so that maybe isn't really an option. But uh, so it, it's kind of just a bit dull uh, sitting there just having that back and forth. But other than that, I'm kind of a fan of everything else that's going on here. Cool world. Uh, I mean, it, it's Mongolia. Granted, we haven't seen too much of Mongolia uh, yet in the game, but I'm just impressed that Mongolia is the place where we are. And as of yet, they're not sort of just like savages that Lara Croft is going to kill. Uh, that it, it seems, you know, like a peaceful, uh, country village almost uh, which I imagine there are quite a few of those in Mongolia uh, so that's a nice setting for it putting together like cooking and everything I really like that I, I like that sort of slow exploration puzzle thing where you do actually need to do every step and figure it out I have a bit of a problem with the fact that you think a a, a, uh, a, a wok is a pot but, uh, but I'm willing to overlook it because there's a lot of other things that are cool here including the eyes of that robot Really feels like she's looking at me. And I think it's because I'm fairly certain they are real people's eyes that have been tracked onto that that video thing. So that's sort of like those are real eyes. It's just the rest of her is uh is is 3D CG. Well, thank you very much for hanging out and checking out Cradle with me. If you like it, give it a shot yourself. I think I will uh, at least play a bit more to see what's in that amusement park uh, besides her breathing apparatus. If you like Pocket, and I'm sure you do because you're watching this right now, don't forget to go to Good Game on Facebook, like us there, join the Pocketeers Facebook group, there's a Steam group, uh, Twitter, Good Game TV, I'm at NickBoy, there's at Pierre, at GG, Edit Monkey. Become a Pocketeer. Make the internet a better place. Alright, that's it for today's episode of Pocket About Cradle. Nick Boy out.